Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and for, this is for the week of September 7th through the 13th. Keep in mind the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you. So what do we have for Libra for the week ahead? What do we have for Libra for the week ahead? What do we have for Libra? Please show me what we have for Libra. Patience. So, when I see a clock, I think it's time. Okay, it's time for something to happen. Okay, you've been patient. You've been waiting. Time's up. That's what I see when I look at this card. That is what I see. I feel as though... Um, It's time for a change. This reminds me of the Temperance card. Temperance is a card of change after a death, after something has happened. Accept and allow. Everything happens for a reason. It happens for a purpose. You may need time to heal. Something could be happening this week that it's time, whatever it is, it's, it's time for it to happen. It's happening for a reason. You may need time to deal with it, whatever it is. Um... Whatever it is, it's about, it's time. I know that it's time. You're going to need to find some sort of self-discipline to accept and allow and to go with this change. Whatever is happening, it's, it's going to be a big one. It is. It is going to be a big change. Um, you're going to need to be patient with yourself. and You're going to need to cooperate whether you like it or not. So what do we have for Libra? One card for Libra, please. Choose wisely. Now, this is the Seven of Cups. So, the Seven of Cups is about options, choices. You're going to be presented with many options. Choose wisely. It's like, it's like if you make the wrong decision, you're going to lose. Okay? You think about rock, paper, scissors. You know? Hopefully, I mean, you are going to be presented... With a, with a choice, with an option. And you're going to have to choose fast by the looks of things. Um, it's a gamble. It is a gamble. I feel as though uh, you're going to need time to think about it. Okay? Because you notice this person is... Give yourself time. Interesting. We see somebody down there like uh, meditating, praying, something like that. That should clear up at any moment. You'd think things will, you will get clarity. Interesting, the words that come out of my mouth. Take time to think about, something's going to happen. And you're going to be probably by yourself. And you're going to be thinking about the circumstances that just happened. Take time alone. Go someplace where you are absolutely by yourself and sit. And clarity will come. You'll get some sort of clarity as to what decision or what path you need to take. But you are going to be basically needing to take time to think about your future. This is not... It's like you, you, now this is, seven is a number from heaven, and this equals seven, and we got, so basically we got two sevens. One plus six equals seven, and we got another seven here. So, seven is a number of faith. It's a number from heaven. It's like they will answer you if you take time alone and ask and receive and have faith and listen. We need a couple of these. We need a couple of these. You're going to be given options or making a choice of some sort. Your choices will affect your future. Ooh, not good. Uh, but endings lead to new beginnings. Okay, they do. Casket, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Tower. 
solid foundation success with effort in this deck it says it's a solid foundation but we all know what the tower means in the traditional tarot deck uh, so you take it however you want I think you're going to be experiencing a tower moment period woman dealings or relationship with a woman so this has to do with a woman lion time to act could be dealing with a Leo doesn't have to be we're dealing with a Sagittarius. I could be dealing with a Scorpio. Whoever you are dealing with, um, someone is leaving your life. This is the end of a situation. It does have to do with a woman. I think you are going to be building a new foundation someplace else. Okay, whether it's a work foundation, a home foundation, a solid foundation. A, sound, a, a, a more solid foundation than where you've been. Um... Whatever is happening is a new beginning. So that's the way I want you to look at this. Um, it is time. Somebody is going to be taking action. Okay, it is. It, maybe you need to take action. What do we have for Libra for this week? Everything happens for a reason. King of Swords. Ace of Wands. Page of Wands. Now, Page of Wands reverse is typically not good news. It's a setback. You may be experiencing a setback this week. Um, you could be dealing with somebody that is very childish, very immature, that doesn't follow through, that is, gets angry and may, does something foolish. I feel as though you are going to have to uh, make some sort of decision or somebody's going to be making a decision for you. This is a decision maker. This could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. You're going to be having a conversation. It's probably not going to be an easy one. Take a look at his face. It's not an easy decision, whatever it is. It's probably something, you may hear some sort of information that gives you a new outlook that, you know, or, or something like that, but it may not be the best news, put it that way. I feel like you are going to be making a difficult decision or a difficult transition of some sort. Now, the King of Swords is usually a person in a, in a, a position of authority. This could be a professional, could be you. Um... This is a, uh, there could be some legal matters as well, but the Ace of Wands is an exciting opportunity for growth. This is a fresh start. So this is actually, you know, exciting. I think that it's, uh, the Page of Wands reversed is typically not good news. So it's bad news, but it allows you to start fresh. And it, you're probably going to receive some news that you don't want to hear. I'm just being honest with you. And, you, you know, you have to accept it. But you probably don't want to accept it. And this is about accepting and, and allowing as well. Um, you could be dealing with another air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Hermit, this is your time of reflection. So you're going to need to, you know, take time to reflect on what has happened. Um, Queen of Wands reversed, Four of Cups reversed, and the Nine of Swords reversed. I feel like you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, the overall energy is the Ten of Wands reversed. That is, that is like a letting go. Okay, it's letting go of a burden, baggage. Somebody can't carry this anymore. They're overwhelmed. There could be a collapse. Okay, that, that Ten of Swords. Ten of Wands in reverse. That's your overall energy. It's it's like it's letting go of something that has been been holding you down. Okay, um, freeing yourself. You are going to be freed from something. Um, you have a new golden opportunity here. You are being given an opportunity. This is a new prospect, a new endeavor, a new enterprise, an opportunity to go down a new path. It's not going to be easy. You have starting fresh. And this is a new one. This is beautiful right here. You are going to be broken free from something that has been heavy on you. It's been heavy to carry. I feel like you're being given an opportunity to explore, to, to take a new adventure. And I think this is a golden opportunity. I feel like you're going to take it. I think that this is taking the new opportunity. This is focusing on the future. It's... It's, it's turning your back. And you may not have a choice, okay? The decision may be made for you. 
I feel as though there's some travel here. You may be you may be, be, be planning to travel, planning to move. Um, you're going to be going someplace. You may be traveling to you know someplace else. I feel like there there is an element of of sadness here with this nine of swords reversed. This is um, despair, anguish, sadness, feeling guilty. You may feel guilty for something, but I don't. Whatever this is, I don't feel like it is your fault. I feel like uh, whoever this Queen of Wands is that you are dealing with um, is a fighter. This person is forceful. This person acts impulsively. They are melodramatic. Uh, they may do something um, crazy. It's crazy. This The Queen of Wands in reverse is, is somebody that is weak, that is self-righteous, that is nasty and jealous and gossips and lies and acts revengeful and is unhealthy. So you may be dealing with somebody that is unhealthy. This person may uh, I don't know go someplace they may isolate themselves they may they may uh it feels like they are deciding to there's there may even be some rehab here. I don't know who this person is, but that hermit is thinking about everything that has happened, taking a retreat, going within planning their next move. I do see alone time here. I feel like uh, you have been drained by another person's energy. And maybe this is like a psychic vampire or something. I think somebody has been draining you. Uh, but you're going to be given an opportunity to start fresh, I think, without this person. I think you are being broken free from this person. Whoever this person is, it feels like they are walking away. They're walking away. It feels like they're walking away from you. I, I mean, I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. Um, now, the Page of Wands reversed is a person who is immature with a self-image problem. And this person has a self-image problem as well. For some reason, I don't think it's you. I think you're dealing with somebody that is mean-spirited and aggressive. And they, this person, they're helpless. And they always see themselves as a victim. And... And it's draining you. You're dealing with somebody that has a victim mentality. I do feel as though you are going to be taking... It's like somebody's taking another path, okay, with this page of pentacles. This is where you find the focus. You do the right thing. You, start, you decide to uh, start over someplace else. This is a fresh start, both of these cards. So I think that you are going to be focusing on a new avenue this week. It's like you get this new vision or you get... Because you're broken free from this person, you are free. You're free to uh, build someplace else. You're going to be building a new foundation someplace else, Libra. Whether it's a home, job, relationship, whatever. Somebody is leaving your life. And I feel like whoever is leaving your life... Um, has caused you a lot of anxiety. This person has caused you a lot of anxiety and angst. Um, they've weighed you down in some way. I do feel as though uh, you, this is actually a blessing in disguise, and I know that's that's hard to, you know, fathom when you when somebody leaves your life. But it is a, because you're be being given a golden opportunity to start fresh. Um, this is the end of stagnation for you. It is with the Four of Cups reverse. You've been in a situation where you were dealing with somebody. It's almost like they, 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 belittled, they belittled you and they fought with you all the time. You may be deciding to uh, go your own way. Either you or them are deciding to, you know, I just need to be alone. I need a time out. I need, I need time away. Somebody's going away. Um... I see traveling, I see moving, um, I see you starting fresh. You may have a new partner here as well, some of you may. This is a new adventure for you. You're going to be starting a new chapter per se. And I think that um, this, whatever is happening, this that this gives you the, the reins. It's like now you have the steering wheel. You're in the driver's seat. 
So now you're you're free. You're free to go, and I think that you will be going. I think that you're going to be going someplace. Um, this is uh, renewal. This is hope. It's a time of inspiration. I feel like you are being guided. You are being guided out of a situation that has been weighing you down, or you were protected because this is protection. This is guidance. This is if needing to find your self-confidence. This is healing after the tower falls. This is unexpected help arriving that is that is guiding you down a better path. This is a blessing after in disguise after the tower falls. So you may be experiencing a tower moment this week that uh, has to do with a fire sign. I think it's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this this tower moment has to do with um, a neat withdrawal. It's like needing to withdraw from this person. I feel like you are going to be, I feel like it's a separation from this person. You may need time alone to, and you're going to probably be reflecting on everything that happened and starting to realize your identity more, your true identity more. And you're going to need to listen to yourself and listen to yourself only because when this happens, you're going to be presented with other options. Which path do you want to go now? Now that you're free of this, which path do you want to go? So I, I would say, you know, some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius. I don't, I don't know why I want to, because this is Sagittarius, this is Sagittarius, this is Sagittarius, or an Aries, Sagittarius, or an Aries, or a Leo. Um... Now, that Ace of Wands is an exciting opportunity to start fresh, okay? So, this is this is a, a period of growth, okay? This is a period of growth for you. So, this is, this is a card of reason as well. Everything happens for a reason. Um, But there is some sort of sadness here with that Nine of Swords reversed. Something could happen all of a sudden as well with that Ace of Wands. This does have to do with a woman. It has to do with a woman. Um... It's probably a woman that you have been fighting with or something like that because of this this right here. This is a game, not paper scissors by the looks of things, you know, so that that's like fighting. So I think you've been fighting with this woman. And now it's definitely time to take action, okay? Um you have you you're going to be laying a new foundation somewhere. You may be even investing in your health, you know, being more realistic, starting over even though you really don't want to, okay? I think you're going to be starting a new a new enterprise, going someplace else when you didn't want to. It's like it was, the decision was made for you. But you're, you have some sort of say because now that this decision is made, it's like, where do you want to go now? Now you're free to go wherever you want. So Libra, I feel as though you're dealing... You you have somebody here who is very hard to deal with. I don't think it's you. I think it's this fire sign. I feel like this fire sign is going to do something impulsive. Whoever this person is, they're unreliable. They show off all the time. They fight a lot. You're dealing with a fighter. Somebody's about to put their foot down. Okay, somebody's about to put their foot down and say, you know what? I just, I, I want to be alone. Or somebody's making, it could be the law that steps in. I don't know. Somebody is making a decision. It is definitely time for a change. So, I gotta get one more card here. So, we have you. 
needing, you're going to need time to think. You are definitely going to need time to think about everything that happens this week. You're going to need time to retreat and think about your next move. Uh, what is happening with this Queen of Wands in reversed? Horrendous loss. This is a loss of some sort. It's a setback. You, somebody that is very controlling. You're dealing with somebody that is very, very, very controlling. Abandonment. This person may abandon you or, or they may... I mean, the Five of Pentacles reversed is... An unhealthy relationship, a major loss. This person sees themselves as a victim and they won't get help and they need help. They won't listen to anybody's advice. This person is a know-it-all. You're dealing with somebody that is a know-it-all. Heart. Heartbreak. I don't know if somebody's going to have a heart attack or what. I mean, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but there is some sort of loss here. This, there's some sort of heartache, suffering, pain. Whoever this person is may just be cold. They may be cold-hearted, okay? Anyhow, I feel as though you are going... You do have a blessing here. You have a blessing of freedom, okay, from whoever this person is. You're going to be starting over from scratch. You're going to be starting on a new a new uh, path by yourself without this person. And I don't know who this person is, but I do see travel. I see moving. I see... Um, it's almost like you're stepping into a new life. You're building a new foundation someplace else. That's what I see. This could be a very sudden departure. Okay. You could have somebody that, you know, starts a war with you. You know, they start some sort of fight and it just goes bad. Cops could get called. And if it's not you, you could hear about it. You could be on the outside of this and you hear about it. Somehow you're involved and you get broken free from this nightmare. I think it's been a nightmare. So, anyhow, um, get prepared for, you know, it feels like somebody could be arriving. You, you know, they could be arriving and they could be causing some sort of uproar. Um, oh my God. That just... Arriving and causing an uproar right there. You saw me shuffle. So the, you need to expect somebody to come in. There's going to be, I think there's going to be some sort of fight that, you know, this person just, it's like a, it's like a war. It is. It's like a war. It's like they're, 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 there's like somebody that is very rebellious and uh, you need to get out of there really quick. You know, it's like, I can't deal with this more anymore. I need to, this, this needs to end. I think there's going to be an argument this week. It's going to be a battle or a dispute or something like that. And I feel like this person, they attack you. They verbally attack you. And it's like the, the decision is made to just leave. I think you're going to need time alone to reflect on whatever is happening this week. I think it is definitely heartbreaking. You may receive some heartbreaking news about whoever this person is that we are talking about. This is like a shock. It is a shock. You're going to need to be strong. Okay? 
You're going to need to be strong. You're going to need to master your emotions as best you can. Take time alone and try to remember that this is a new opportunity for you to build a new, stronger foundation. However that resonates with you. Good luck.